Good morning, and thank you for choosing eShipper. Today we're going to learn how to track our packages, edit, cancel, and also go in and regenerate a shipping label once we've already exited it. So we're able to go over track, click the word itself, and you'll be able to see that it'll come up with today's shipments or shipments within a specified period. Now I'm going to go just for today's and hit submit. At this point, we'll come up with any shipments that we have done throughout the day. You'll see it's auto scheduled because it is LTL or a skid. Um, if it's courier, then you're going to see where you scheduled it within your day. And you're also going to have the option of track it here. If you click that, it's going to go to the carrier's website and see what point it actually is within the whole process, whether it's being picked up or on the road or it's actually been dropped off. Now from here, you can click the magnifying glass on the left and you'll be able to get in here and regenerate any bill of lading, uh, any shipping labels, any customs invoices. Just click on the word itself or email the documents to yourself. Now, if I click the word here, it's going to come up with the label. And from there, I can print it out and put it on my skid. In addition to that, I'm just going to exit this here. I'm going to go to edit cancel. Say I didn't want the shipment anymore. We're able to just go and actually find that shipment and just cancel it right here. If you hit repeat this order, you're able to edit any of the information that may be incorrect and go from there as well. But I'm just gonna cancel it for now, hit okay, and that's deleted off the system. This must be done within the same day of creating it. If not, you can contact your account manager and they can do it for you. 